Hello and welcome to a C++ Lua tutorial. In this tutorial we will cover how to install uh, and use and be able to use Lua for with C++ in Visual Studio 2008. The process should work similar to other IDs. So go to Google. I'm not gonna do that because it's really slow so I'm gonna tell you what to do instead. Go to Google and then all oh right and he type Lua download. Take the first search for binaries, get a binary. And here you can choose your system, so Linux, Mac OS, Windows. You pretty much just wanna download this that. You go here and you see installation. Lua for Windows. Yeah, it shouldn't be too hard. And there's Google code here and download it and install. Once installed, you should end up with a folder somewhere on your computer called Lua with a capital L with a version in it. Now, you see two folders here, include and library. Those, you want to go to your IDE's uh, main folder, the C++ IDE, and paste in, see here, include, paste in all the Lua header files in your C++ include folder in your IDE, and do the same with the library files that you see here in this folder. With this Lua library files, you want to paste them in here. Now, when that's done, we can um, actually start creating our project. So, we create a new project. Um, open up your ID, hit File, New, File, New Project. Uh, make sure it's a console application. Just call it something Lua test. Fine. And hit next. Uh, console application and empty project. Hit finish. Now, what we want to do is we need to link our Lua, uh, Lua library files or one Lua library file to our project. So if you don't know how to do that on your ID, uh, if you have code blocks or any other ID than this, I won't really cover how to do that, but it should be similar on every ID. So what you do in uh, Visual Studio, you go to your project and the properties, and configuration properties, linker and input. Here you just specify Lua, lib, no, Lua dot lib. Right? Now you create a new item, the main, the main source file, and create a main function. Right, so I'm just gonna make sure that okay, I failed Lua. Yeah, I thought so too. Lua51.lib, sorry. Okay, so we need Lua51.lib. That's the library file you're gonna link to. Now it should work fine. Yes. So, let's set up a simple project. A simple application. So, first of all, we need to include Lua.hpp. This is the header file, that we, header file that we include all the other files for us. And we are also gonna need this iStream. And if you don't know what the iStream is or this std namespace, you should go learn some C++. Okay, now we are ready to start using uh, Lua. So we need first of all we need to create a Lua state. 
and we need to set it to Lua open. And the Lua state uh, is pretty much the you know the brain of Lua. It's you know it's the Lua run time run run time uh, thingy. So it's you know it's pretty much every uh, state. The state pretty much executes everything and handles everything and stores all the variables and all that. So the Lua state is everything. It's the like you can, it's a virtual machine of Lua, you know. And you need to set, you know, open it. So you set, tell the program that I have a Lua state, make it functional, right? Okay. Now, in order to be able to use some standard functions within Lua, we want to open up the standard libraries. So we hit Lua L, open libs, and the first argument and only argument is the state, the Lua state we just created, right? Now we have the basically library files open. Now we can actually do some code. So this will only cover the basic code. Um, well, one function actually that executes a string of code. And that is called Lua L uh, do string. Passing the state and the and the String of code you want to execute. So, for example, we can use print and then type what we want to print hello from Lua. Let's see, there. Right, so if we run this, hello from Lua. And there we go. This is the basic setup with, by. You know, the basic setup uh, by using Lua with C++. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next tutorial.